Hello and welcome everyone. Today we discuss what to do if you need some software that is not packaged in official Geeks channel. I am Andrew Trappin, I work on operating systems and programming languages and do a lot of free and open source software along the way. And let's get started. First obvious thing to do is to find the software packaged in other channel. To search through the channels you can use Toys service. Here you can see a lot of public channels listed and you can search through them. You can search for packages or even system or home services. Here is the example how it works. How to use custom channels you can see in manual page, but I will show a few examples. First of all, we need a channels definition file. Uh, let's see what we have here. Here we have a simple channels definition file which contains two channels, Geeks channel and RD channel. After we defined, after we created this file and defined the channels we want, we can use Time Machine to access those channels and sur search through them, like this. You can see that the location of the file is RD packages emacs xyz. That means that probably it came from RD channel, not from official Geeks channel. Another thing we can do is to use Geeks shell to run packages defined in this channel. But let's first see what else we have here. You can see that in official Geeks channel we have version 0.9.5, but in RD channel we have a slightly different version. Geeks automatically will pick the latest available version and uh, we can use shell to temporarily create environment where this uh, package available and you can see I executed guile command and provided uh, a code which executes a REPL server obtained from guile RS, RS package. Another thing that you can do is to create the own package definitions. It's quite simple, you just create a directory, inside this directory you create a file and write your package definition. Let's do it. Uh, here in src rd packages, whoops, packages, m, uh, let's see, vm scm, I created a simple package definition for sway uh, kbdd uh, package and now I can try to build it and somehow interact with it. First of all, let's try to search for this package. As you can see, the search provided no results. That is because we didn't include the path into load path of Geeks binary and we can do it with minus L flag or guy load path environment variable. They are kind of similar. After that, you can see it finds the package definition and we can use it from here. For example, we can build this package. Because it's already built, it will just return the path to the uh, build artifact. And we can create a shell or install this package or do whatever we want. Uh, I prefer to use temporary shells and environments inside them. And you can see a uh, sway kbdd packages here and manual for it is here as well. Which is nice and convenient. Very cool. What else we can do? We can take already pre-built binary which is supposed for a FHS based distro uh, which usually can be executed directly on the Geek system. But we have a Geek shell with mi minus minus container and emulate FHS fl flex which allows to run such binaries in Geek system. You can read uh, more about Geek shell and emulate FHS fl flex in the Geek manual and you probably can find manuals on how to uh, run particular software with Geeks shell, uh, but we won't dive too, uh, too deep into it. Another no note uh, on this topic is that you can use binary build system which is provided in some channels and uh, using this binary build system you can patch the elf uh, file, uh, patch the binary to make it aware of libraries installed in GNU store 
rather than uh, trying to access user uh, lib or slash lib uh, FHS directories. Okay, what if there is no binary that we can patch, there is no channels or we can't package software because it's too hard for some reason. We can use another containers, uh, more widespread uh, container engines like Docker and Podman and run software direct directly with it. So how to install Podman, rootless Podman, I uh, described in the previous vi video. You can look it uh, up in my channel. Running the container is pretty simple. You can use, uh, you can r run multiple containers with Docker or Podman compose. You can use a si uh, simple container with Podman run. And it looks like this. After you executed it and you shut down it or you rebooted your machine, you can uh, bring it up back with Podman start. And you can see what uh, containers currently running like this. And you can see that Pisa container is executed here and I can access it in my browser on this page. And I can see overview of my finances. It works well for web applications, but you can have some troubles with X11 and Valent applications uh, and maybe with some integrations with file system and network and so on. To solve this problem, we can use Distrobox project, which provides much tighter integration of container into your host operating system. First of all, you need to create a container and after that you can enter it. Here inside container, you can use a package manager of operating system you installed in the container and get the binary, binary available for you. You can see that everything is available here, but the root operating system is a bit different because it's a file system of the container, not the file system of my host operating system. But the home directory and the recent files are sourced from my usual operating system. Also, you can export binaries to your host operating system like this. And those binaries will be available to your host operating system as usual binary. The other way to install software is Flatpak. For that, uh, you need to add a repository. I don't install Flatpak in my operating uh, system configuration or home, home configuration. I use it only inside a shell because I need it very rarely. Uh, and you can run software like this. Mm -hmm. Here you can see that Eclipse environment is executed and here you can do all the necessary stuff with it. The last but not least is a Nix package manager. There is a system service for Nix package manager and Nix package manager probably right now is the most uh, package full package manager. It has like a lot of uh, software packaged and uh, you can install it following the manual. You can use Nix shell to temporarily uh, get packages available for you. And of course you get flakes home manager and whatever Nix uh, also provide. Remember that all solutions mentioned above is kinda ad hoc. They're not tightly integrated into gigs. Most of them don't have declarative configuration and thus they can require additional interventions and maintenance. But the cleaning up and maintenance are not today topics. As a conclusion, I would like to say there are few other ways to get more software. For example, virtualization with QMU kernel virtual machine but such approaches can be a bit more heavy handed and the things mentioned today already covers most of the use cases. Take care of your privacy and freedoms and see you in a bit. Bye.